take you to Florida right now for an update on the suitcase murder trial. Sarah Boone's case just called by the judge. Let's go in together live. Sarah Boone, 2020 CF 2603. Please raise your right hand. Please solemnly swear for another testimony you shall give to the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. Yes. Good morning, ma'am. Tell me your name, your date of birth. Sarah Boone, 101077. All right, we're here for a status hearing on your case. Your case was set for pretrial conference uh, back on July 12th. But as I promised you, I was going to bring you over so whatever the things that we'd normally discuss at pretrial would be discussed while you were present in the courtroom. Mr. Bankwitz. In court, you previously discussed an issue with getting JAC to pay um, your expert. I'm going to just paraphrase battered, for this battered spouse defense. Right. Uh, and they have filed a formal objection, which now has been set for hearing. Um, I want to say September the 18th is huh. the first available time because they have to have. They require 20, uh, 20 days uh, right. for hearing purposes, and we couldn't get on your docket before that day. All right. So, Mr. Cacciatore, Ms. Boone's present. Mr. Banquets is asking to continue the case so that he can. We're going to have to have a hearing with JAC on his request for funding for a defense expert. Given my understanding of the case, that defense expert would be crucial to at least one defense that's going to be offered in case. And my understanding is you can't do anything until that expert actually is identified as a witness who's going to be called, correct? That's correct. She has been identified. <laughs> I understand, but it's not unknown at this point whether she's going to be called, and I assume since there's no agreement as to payment, potentially there's going to be an issue with the state deposing her at this point in time. Correct. Right. So that's what I meant by he can't do anything until you get to the bottom of whether what she's going to be paid and whether she's willing to formally accept the case. Is that a fair statement? Semi-fair. She is formally willing to accept the case. The issue is the hourly rate. JAC has changed their hourly rate for ex this area of expertise for over 10 years. So, Mr. Cacciatore, the request is to continue so that that issue can be resolved. Do you have any objection to that? No, Your Honor. All right. I'm going to grant the request to continue under the circumstances. Uh, What's the hearing date that we're currently working with, Mr. Brown? Wednesday, September the 18th, Judge. That sounds like what my J.A. told me as well. For control purposes, I'm going to set the case for my September 20th pretrial, October 2nd trial period, with the understanding that we can address, potentially address pretrial. I understand that you're unlikely to tell me that you're ready to try this case on October 2nd, regardless of what happens on the 18th. Correct. But I just want to have a, have the case scheduled close in time to the 18th so we can address them at the same time. Thank you, Judge. All right. That day. is the order of the court. Ms. Boone, you'll be returned to the Orange County Jail while Mr. Banquet continues to prepare your defense. All right. Judge Boone. Thank you, Judge. Hold on one second. Ms. Boone, I've, I've addressed pretrial. I've brought you over. Uh, I'm going to give you a moment if you want to share something else with me, but that's what I needed to address today. And I've got other matters that I need to address in short order, so. I understand, and I'm grateful for your time. I had previously sent you a letter, and it has not been uploaded, but it was made an announcement to the courtroom during my pretrial that you do have it, and I was wondering why and if it will be uploaded, because I have another copy of it that I would like to hand deliver to you today. I don't know why it has not been uploaded. Um, I'll have to talk to my JA about that. If you want to give me another copy, that's fine. Yes, please. All right. Go ahead and just tender it to one of the deputies. And actually, any objection if I just have the clerks 
Can it here in open court? Yes, please. And do I normally get a copy? I haven't gotten one. I'm sorry. Well, it'll be filed in the case. If it gets uploaded, Judge, I can make a copy and take it to him. Okay. On. Yes, please. If that would be okay, I would like to have that one uploaded. It's revised. Okay. And uh, what I had directed my judicial assistant was to disclose this to the attorneys. Uh, again, uh, to a great extent, when I read the original, you've covered a great deal of ground that we've covered in open court on multiple occasions about the method and manner of communication. Having read the original letter, I did not believe there was any additional action that I needed to take, which is why I didn't take any action on that letter. All right? So to be filed, Ms. Boone will be returned to the Orange County Jail pending further order of the court. Thank you. You're welcome. And with that, the hearing has concluded. The status hearing for Sarah Boone's case. Didn't we tell you we thought there might be another continuance today? Lots and lots of delays. Uh, but this one makes sense. And this one, I'm sure she's not upset about because it benefits her. The defense team is looking to present a certain expert witness. Uh, and this has to do with that battered wife syndrome that we understand they're going to be presenting. Uh, and we're going to talk about that uh, throughout the show this morning. Uh, but they're going to give her till uh, September 20th. That's going to be a date uh, where there's going to be uh, another uh, status hearing set. Um, and then October 2nd, a second status hearing uh, so that the case stays on track uh, for trial, hopefully in the fall. But how about that letter too? Didn't we think that would happen as well? Courtney's, we're going to squeeze in a break. We're going to be talking about this case. Uh, and more about these accusations of domestic violence between Sarah Boone and the deceased, her boyfriend, Jorge Torres.